Hello Aries, welcome into your weekend reading from the 28th to the 29th of August, the last weekend of August. Let's see what kind of weekend you're going to be having. I am actually going to be checking this weekend and I'm going to be seeing what's happening with you and then I want to see what's going to be happening with other people around you. So we're going to see what's going on with you and then how people around you, possibly how they're going to be affecting you this weekend. So let's get into it. Aries, let's get some energies out for you here from the psychic tarot of the heart. So we want to see what your emotions are going to be like, how you're going to be feeling. Let's get into it and see for you guys. Let's have a look. Open up. Okay, this is the card that is opposite from the open up energy because this is four of pentacles. So it does say open up. Let's get some more cards out here. Master, we've got... Uh, the devil energy coming in here, which is the master energy, Capricorn as well. Okay. And the healing begins. Wow. Right. Um, I don't know what has happened in 2021. Okay. This is Six of Swords energy. But what I can tell you is this is that so many people in 2021 have gone through breakups and had uh, endings happening even in 2020 and I feel like you have gone through one of those breakups uh, maybe not soon not too soon not so soon what am I saying not long ago <laughs> not so soon really not so long ago right and um, it could have been in 2020 or it could have been around about the beginning of this year because I'm feeling kind of like up and from January up until about March there could have been a breakup here and um you have been a little bit closed off. You've been sort of like in your space healing. And I feel honestly, even though it says healing begins, I feel like your healing is now over. And it's time for you now to get out there into the world again. That's why it says they open up. Okay, I kind of got this vibe of you needing to open up because you're not opening up. You're being kind of, basically you're me, you know, but I do this because I like it. You know what I mean? But if you're in this energy of actually wanting to get out there and meet some new people, um, it's time now to just to do so. With that devil energy coming in there, the master energy, I feel like you've done the healing already. And you're being very cautious now as you move forward. Because you know what I'm looking at in these cards here is the green energy. So green is the color of heart chakra. Okay. So that's why it's indicate as healing begins, it's the green around the energy of the card. But because you have done this healing, and I think if you think you haven't healed, you're actually doing extremely well. I feel like you're on the brink of being your healed self, you know what I mean? You're, you're more like the old way that you used to be before you got into this energy here. Um, you are very careful though. Look how you've healed your heart, but you've kind of put it behind little bars there just to like little little jail cell, you know, just to keep it safe. You know what I mean? This card also indicates, because you know the devil energy can sometimes be seen as many different things. It can be seen as the ego. It can be seen as very, being very materialistic, focused on growth in life. But I kind of feel like when you're healing, those are the things you focus on. You focus on um, how you're feeling. You focus on how you're living. You focus on how you look even. You know, you think to yourself, let me not let myself get run down. You know, after we have a breakup, we can kind of go, Ugh, you know what I mean? But you kind of look at yourself and go, you know, let me go, let me go get my hair cut. You know, let me go buy some new clothes. You know, that it can be a bit of an ego-based energy, but it's part of healing and it's, it's the way it is. It's part of healing. Um, I really think that, uh, this is going to be you coming out this weekend, possibly maybe even going out or dressing up, going out there, feeling so much better than what you have been feeling. I really feel like it's some for somebody who has already healed. You may even be cautiously considering meeting some new people as well, getting to know some new people. This is quite interesting, actually. Um, it's nice. It's nice because, you know, the other vibe of the devil energy as well, it's also feeling the passion, the drive, the inspiration, the motivation, the get up and go, you know, um, energy as well with regards to how you feel every single day. It's definitely showing that healing for me has already taken place. Very nice. Whatever was the problem, it's really been left in the past now. Very nice energy. Let's get some other people's energies out around you.
Aren't you curious what's going to be going on? Got some six of cups coming in here. Please no. Got a five of cups. Please no. What's happening? The empress energy. No. I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. What is this? You see now. Aries. Okay. Oh, Lord. I feel like anchoring breaks in this reading. I'm just going to sit on the, on the floor for a while and lay there and look at the ceiling. Listen, um, you know when you heal from a heartbreak and then you're like, you know what? I'm recovering here. I'm going to get on with my life. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to start living the best life I can. I feel happy again. Guess what happens? Yes. The ex rocks up on your damn doorstep. I'm so sorry. But there's an energy of somebody from your past. Six of cups. Making an offer with one little cup there. Right? This person is in pain. They got the five of cups. They are heartbreak. They're heartbreaking. You know, they're heartbroken. Heart I cannot speak for you guys today. They are heartbroken. Okay? They're looking at all they've lost. All right? Um, you guys had a nurturing connection at one point with the Empress being there. For some of you, this could be the mother or father of your child. I don't even know what to say because you're so happy over there. And boom, the universe is like, let's test you. Um, like I'm saying, for some of you guys, you could have even been married. Here's the four of wands with the Empress being there. This indicates that the Empress, there was an upset in this connection. And here comes this person. They, you have ended a cycle with them. They are, they have been stressed out without you. So this person has been stressed out without you. I have to get another deck of cards. I can't. I have to look in here. It's just too much. Let me just get another deck out here for you guys. Let me get this out. This is just unexpected. I can't deal, guys. I don't know what you're thinking. As a human being out there, listen to this tarot reading. You might be going, Deborah. It ain't never going to happen. You know, I don't even know what to say. Because you look like you're ready for new experiences. This person energetically, spiritually feels this. They can feel you totally releasing them. And it's what's bringing them in. They're going to make a move with this four of wands here. And because they're under stress without you. This ten of wands is that five of cups that they're carrying. There's this lost energy the stressful energy of you and them i gotta ask spirit guides spirit guides good grief i didn't expect this i was expecting now who's gonna be around you oh my god this is a boom you know what i'm saying what do spirit guides advise you here maybe they're just giving you a heads up they're going to work so hard you've done so much work on yourself you recovered so beautifully and possibly still are recovering and here comes this person that hurt you like this back <sighs> yes i can't believe it the five of cups rocks up here yes this is the person that hurt you like that oh god you have no idea what cards i've just seen i have to take three because i saw the other card this is the person that hurt you like this this is the person that hurt you like this ten of swords this is the person that you broke up with blow my mind the tower card what kind of reading is this spirit guides what you're doing to me and aries over here how do we deal with this um seriously i'm blown away like i don't even know what to say this ex is coming back into your world uh they're gonna rock up here i don't even know if it will be this weekend but they're definitely thinking about you over the weekend they're thinking about coming back in they're thinking about reaching out to you they're thinking about you but this is the person that hurt you this is the person that did this to you with the Ten of Swords. They really stabbed you in the back. They may have even betrayed you. And this is the person you ended this connection with. They coming back here one more time. i got to get the... Uh, you're joking. I had to look under the deck. Whew, you're reading. Ah, you need to run away, guys. I'm just saying. Because this is the Five of Cups three times in your reading. And the Nine of Wands. Oh my gosh. And the Five of Cups, it's three times one two three times in your reading and then look who you are you need to rest and reconsider this is nine of wands you might have to put your walls up against this person coming back in here because they have done some stuff to you 
that shouldn't have been done here. And I think this is why you needed so long to recover from them. Remember all that they've done. Rest and reconsider. When If they come back in here reaching out to you, do not make any decision that's going to be you just falling straight back into their arms. You need to pull your energy away. You need to keep your walls up. Remember this card is the Wounded Warrior. you got five Three of three, five of cups that has come up in your reading, and a ten of swords. I mean, seriously, they may be crying now, okay, but you cried more before when they were hurting you, like this ten of swords and those fives of cups. You were doing a lot of crying as well, and then where were they? They were the one causing it. Now that you're doing okay, now they crying here and they want you to fix it for them by coming back to them. But they never fixed it for you. I'm just saying. So maybe you should think about that. Whatever they did to you, it's still who they are. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, Aries. I'm just saying. But there we go. Thank you so much for coming in. If the reading is resonating with you and you suspect... <laughs> or if this person has already reached out to you, rest and reconsider. I'm just saying. I mean, I cannot make up the cards that come out on the table. This reading even surprises me. The way that everything has come out, even as a tarot reader, I'm just like, whoa, whoa. This is so straightforward. It's so open. It's so like, look, just look for yourself and see what has been shown. So be cautious as you move forward and really think about your next move. You know what I'm saying? You work so hard on your healing. It wouldn't be nice that you would have to start all the way from the beginning, from the start, go through all that again. You know what I'm saying? But there we go, guys. Thank you so much for coming in. Hit that thumbs up button if the reading does resonate with you. Um, you can subscribe as well. Hit that notification bell because then you're going to know when the other tarot readings come out. They come out on Sundays for the weekly readings on Sunday, no, I did say Sunday, Sunday, Sunday for the weekly readings, <laughs> on Friday for the weekend readings, and a pick a card reading comes out on a Wednesday, what else, if you want to follow me on any of my other social medias and actually know who I am, and where I come from, and what I think and do, you can follow me, well, TikTok, it's going to be other, um, not really about me, it's basically tarot readings that I don't really see here, it's actually doing really well, I'm like, kind of like blown away, I literally started on the 7th of August, so, I'm really enjoying that. Um, Instagram, that's where you're going to get to know me and my strange ways. But anyway, there we go, guys. And if you want a personal reading with me as well, contact me. There is an email in the description box of this video. Otherwise, guys, thank you so much for coming in. I'm sending my love in your direction. And uh, um, good luck, guys. Bye.